the temptation is too great. Hello and welcome to Dig and SoCal. This is hunt number three and my final hunt for the Sacramento area. I am going to hit as many of these little neighborhood pocket parks as I can find before it gets too hot this morning. So hopefully we get something good. If not, we're going to have fun trying. So to the hunt. All right, I found a few coins so far. I think three. And they've kind of been a little bit deeper than I want to go. But here's my first uh, probably quarter. It's shallowish. There it is. Nice worn out uh, quarter. Oh, interesting. If I get to my target here, woo! Very cool. I found a dime here. I had a good signal, and then I see the chain next to it. It's one of these cheapy chains. But, yeah. <laughs> but it's still a chain. As far as nothing is hooked to it, I was kind of hoping it was when I pulled it out. Anyway, something different. So I'm walking along here and I see a $100 bill. You have no idea how big it is. <laughs> and a quarter next to it, or the dime next to it. How funny. Sun's coming up. It's kind of bent up a little, I guess. But uh, first target at this point is a 21, 22, 20. Probably just a penny, but you never know. Ah. A key. Huh. Not sure what the design is. Cool. So I was getting a double tone by this pole and I was getting a 2021 so I figured it'd be a penny and uh, I started scraping away from the pole and check this out. I got a ring. Cute little ring. Looks like it might have, uh, I can't really tell if those are hearts or Another blinger for the collection. Yeah, but it's pretty cool. If you really pay attention to the, uh, I'll try to recreate what I had here. So I'm, I'm working these poles. You get these signals. You can hear the double tones there. So I could tell there was something next to the pole and, uh, you gotta really listen for those sounds because it's hard to get close enough to these poles, especially with that larger coil. So I just listen for uh, something other. I'll check the pole tone and then I'll go around the pole and see if I can pick up anything else. But yeah, it's just a blinger, but I wouldn't have found that if I uh, wasn't pay paying close attention. This one's a little bit easier to tell, but this is a really good, good example. Probably a quarter, jumping up in the 30s, so. Yeah, exactly. All right, getting a nice uh, penny signal right here. Out in the middle of no poles, the no pole zone, as I say. Ooh. A cute little ring. That was definitely hearts. Wow. Definitely get my ring count up on this trip. All right, park number four. Nice little tot lot. Got the city workers here. They're cool with me doing this. Got the first target right here in the sand and it's jumpy so I guess what that's going to be hopefully could I have a 
Oh, yeah. I got a car. Very cool. Audi. I think that is an Audi anyway. Yeah. Nice. I think this one's going to take me a while. This is park number four, so just found this. What is that? I'm not really sure. Got these things spin, it looks like. Huh. I will have to figure that one out. I've never seen that before. Does that say here? No. Got some numbers in China, but I'll look into that. That almost looks like a lens. How strange. Ooh. Well, park number six and got a target right here, 20. I think about these parks, they're all pretty new, so. so I see something down here. Oh, wow. It's a Mickey thingy. I say thingy because I have no idea what it is. Oh, and it's got a Mickey symbol on it. That's pretty cool. Wow, I like that. For all you Mickey fans out there. All right, bottom of these stairs, I got a target. Hello. Ooh, I have another ring. Nice. That thing. Sparkly. Anyway, that's cool. That's, I think, three on this uh, hunt. Oh, this owl. That hurt. Gotta watch where I'm going. That's the second time I've hit my head. I think it's just my head. Well, looky, looky here. This one obviously doesn't count. But, uh, that's a plastic ring I just saw sitting there. That's <laughs> funny. Okay, I'm circling this thing here, and I had a 10. I just found an earring with a pinpointer. Again, it's probably just, uh, a blinger. But, uh, no backing, and I will check the stem and see if there's any markings later, but looking at it, I'm guessing it's just a blinger. What did I found here? I've never seen this before. It's a music symbol. Cool. Hmm. What do I have I can hit it with? Ooh, the back of my shovel. Very cool. I'm sure the kids have a blast with that. I haven't checked around it yet. See, I'm listening for tones other than the pole. And finding none. We'll go on to this one here. What this is wow drums you know, a little band going on here with the birds in the background they're the backup singers all right i'm getting some good signals under here i just found a dime over there and i just pulled up a uh, high tone here and i got another dollar my second dollar on this trip which one this is wow John Adams. Cool. All right, I just walked this path of this thing here and I uh, found 27 cents, but man, the temptation is too great. I have to try this. I'm just gonna give this a whirl.
That was too fun. Boy, kids are lucky these days. That was a fun ride. Well, I was just undigging a what I thought was a coin, and it's not a coin. Bless my pet. Aw. Look at that. And around this thing. Of all places, made it the dog on the ride. That's pretty cool. What is it? It says, bless my pet. Yeah, this ride is loaded with uh, coins and stuff, and I found that uh, pet thing right there, and I just I thought I had another penny here. Just pulled this up. Wow. And that almost looks like a Gucci symbol. I'm not really sure, though. Maybe not. <laughs> Dang. I guess I'm working my way all the way around this thing. It's very, uh, a lot of targets in the ground around this thing. All right, I'm still going around this thing, and I just got another one. what that is it's got some type of thing on the back I don't know if that's just a wood chip stuck through it or what what is that too shiny and uh, too hard to see right now that looks like a wood chip going through the back <laughs> how funny all right going through the second time around and uh, had a nine right here Just a bead, a little blinger. It doesn't even feel like, uh, it feels like tin almost. All right, rather than showing you every find, I decided to uh, work my way, reach under as far as I could, cut all these holes, and uh, see what I can come up with. And I came up with 75, 76, 77 cents. This uh, piece of chain or bracelet, and then a rabbit. We all know what kind of rabbit that is, but it's a rabbit. Whew. I really worked this area hard. I spent 20 minutes just going around this thing. It's a pretty cool ride. I do love the holes. I bet there's more up closer, but I'm not going to lay down to get any closer. I got probably halfway. Oh man, I'm working on this 13. I thought I was going to either get a pull tab or a uh, nickel. And look at this. It's stuck in here pretty good. Not sure what it is yet. I kind of hoping it was a ring, but it looks pretty big. Whoa. Please be gold. 13's a good number. There it is. I got it out. It is an earring. Let's see this for a second here. Look at that. Nice. I will check that when I get back to the truck, but uh, that's a nice earring. Potential is there. Look how dirty I got. I didn't bring my gloves out. They're in the truck. I was just doing the tot lot, and there's a diamond right there. Wow. This is nice. Crossing my fingers. All right, this is the second part of this hunt. I am with Robert, and we're going to be working some grass. Hopefully we have some good finds today should be an epic day or not oh it's a beautiful morning now it's gonna get warm though got a nice signal here high tone i've pulled up a few pieces of junk so far um hold on I, I, is that junk here again oh look at this what is that i see metal Pull that out. Whoa, what is that? Wow. First cool find. It's broken off of something. Look at that. It's heavy, too. Can't really tell what it was. Wow. I was digging up a 2021 and I just saw sparkly. And it looks like I have an earring. I have to clean it up and get a better look at it, but definitely an earring. Got the post there. 
All right. Not too shabby. Hopefully it's nice once I get it clean, but doubtful. All right, I had a 17 right here and I just dug this up and thought it was just a piece of a uh, can slot first, but it looks like a pennant, pennant that's been there a long time. Hold on a sec here. Yeah, there is some marking, writing on it, so I'll clean it up and see what it said. It is a heart. All right. All right, this is kind of crazy. I'm just tooling along with the middle of Tetra going back and forth, and I get a 25, 27. Go back and look. It's a penny. I flipped it over, and oh my goodness. I have a wheat scent, and it's on the surface. That's insane. Hold on a second here. It's a uh, 19, looks like a 52 maybe. Very cool. Well, I thought it was gonna be another penny. Flip this over and I have a very interesting looking lighter. Oop. Huh. Ooh, what is that on there? Scary. Oh, wow. it's a skull. Yeah, it is. Skull lighter. Very cool. All right, I had a 22 here. This whole plug came out, but uh, I see what well, might be a ring or it might be something junky. Oh yeah. I have my first ring of this hunt. Wow. That is insane. All right. The ring? Yeah. At least I think it is. I will have to get a closer look. It's pretty dirty. It's been there a long time. I'm thinking if it's not corroded anywhere, this might be a silver ring. I will clean it up and let you know if I can find any markings. But darn, that's pretty cool. I'm not popping this plug out of the ground. I see something shiny. I'm not really sure what it is. It's got, looks like it's got a tip on it that's covered. I don't know. Oh, it's a hook. All right, that works. All right, I'm getting uh, signaled up by these chains about here. Right in the middle of the two chains. What we got? Oh, there it is. Mickey. Another Mickey. I think. With a bow tie. Or is that mini? Nice. Alright, I had a 14 and then I hit it with a pinpointer and uncovered another heart. Oh man, I missed it. I walked in there too. Cute little thing. Any markings on it? No, not that I see. Just blowing her. Oh. I'm underneath the slide like I always am. Hey Robert. Yeah. And uh, I had a high, high tone. And oh. Oh man. Whoa. Holy smoke. Yeah, look at that. Oh, Dang. That Got me a knife. That's one of the razor knives though. Pretty cool. Digging through this stuff here, thought I had a penny. I have another ring. It is just a kid's ring, but it's a ring. Keep them rings a coming. All right, I was getting a 15 right here, and I just pulled this up, and it looks like a chain. How long is this chain? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Heart chain. That's pretty. Nice. Another chain, go figure. All right, well that was two days of hunting. One day I hit numerous of these micro neighborhood hot lots. And then today I went out with Robert and we did mostly grass. We did hit a couple of small tot lots that were near the grass, but most of my finds on today's hunt was in the grass. So let's get to that wrap up. All right, here we go. This one, I didn't know what it was, so I did um, look it up, and it's a fidget gadget. So it does all kinds of different things. Click, spin, twist. So I saw one on eBay for like five bucks. This one does not work right now. I got a nice piece of iron in a sandlot. A surface, rhino, surface find rhino, say that three times fast. Um, did get one car, nice little Audi. Um, and then your standard stuff here bolts and nails and i mean these are coming out of tot lots uh key over here little piece of circuit um 
picked up a surface find ring. Woo! -hoo. Got myself a looks like a little Spidey woman, Spider Man or something like that. Plastic. It's a uh, surface find as well. Got a tack. A couple hair pieces. Got a rubber tire. Obviously a surface find. Um, steel ball. And not too bad on the uh, clad here and pennies. Let's see, five, five or six bucks. Um, and then four pull tabs. Then I got one of these uh, chains. Usually you put dog tags or something on them. Got this little piece of bracelet, whatever's left of it. A little piece of chain. I got a dollar. Always nice finding dollars. I got this pin here, entrepreneur. I got a bunny, an earring, this a pendant, a dog pendant for the dog. Bless my pet. It's kind of cool. I could put that on Buddy. He probably wouldn't like it. Got a Mickey pendant. That's really cute. I thought I had gold when I dug this up. Came up to 13 on the Knox, and I was really excited, but it's not gold. Three rings. This one's pretty. And then I got uh, this one here with uh, mushrooms. And then I got this one here, which is a mood ring with hearts. That's really cool. So three more rings for the hunt. And then I went to the grass. And I did hit a little bit of sand and one tot lotter. Maybe it was two. Got myself a tent stake. Actually, I could call this a tent stake too, maybe. So I did score those. Oh, you can see the difference when you're out in the grass. You can see the uh, different bolts and nails and rusty stuff I find. This uh, razor knife was under a toy in the tot lot that I went through real quick. Um, got a lighter, some uh, zipper poles. I haven't seen a U-nail like this in a long time. That was pretty cool. This looks like aluminum, some washers, I got a lot more um, pull tabs and bottle caps. I threw some bottle caps away. Uh, then you got the change. As you can tell how torp these pennies are. And then you go over here to the tot lot and they're much better condition. So the grass really eats them up. And then I did get this one wheat penny. It's a 52D. It's all scratched up. Um, a blingy earring here. It's also partially uh, worn out. One backing for a pendant. A little heart that says love. It's in bad shape. Another heart pendant. A mini mouse. Um, this is really cute. And then I got this. I'm not really sure. This almost looks like part of a zipper pull or a piece of jewelry. I'm not really sure. Um, interesting design. Same with, same with this item here. I don't know what this is. And it's broken on both ends, so it was attached to something. Pretty cool. And then I got the um, Claire's chain. Can't spend a day at the park or grass without finding chains here. I'm not counting these rings, but there's this little ring. This is a cool little ring. I was wearing this for part of the day. It was kind of funny. And then this is probably the best ring. It's, it's just a junker, but it also has, I believe it's mushrooms on this too. So both days I got mushroom uh, rings. That's kind of funny. But the ring count is definitely going up. I mean, wow. I have to figure out how many I've found so far. But it was a fun uh, two-day hunt. This is my last Rockland, Sacramento area hunt. I hope the next time I'm hunting, I'm with Christine. So she'll be uh, excited to get out there and hunt with me. And uh, I guess I can put up with her. Anyway, thanks for watching. And we'll catch you on the next hunt. This is a Pacific gopher snake, and it decided to come watch me as I was cleaning my equipment and working on my wrap-up. Just slithering by the house. Thank you.